I love you, but you can't be here right now. Konnichiwa, Mina, and welcome to this week of anime prescriptions. Yay! It is no longer Halloween week. Z. October uh, month. Yeah, so we're going to move on now into November. And I feel like November is kind of a slow month. I mean, America, we have Thanksgiving, but what do the other countries have? Nothing. They literally start creating Christmas in November. And people in America do that too, actually. But it's wrong in America, because you still have a holiday there, and then there's Black Friday, but we're not going to talk about that. Ooh. Okay, so, <laughs> first off, the Pokemon of the week is Oddish! Oh, look how cute. I was actually worried that he had gotten erased, because my cat sat her butt up right on his face. <laughs> yep, but he's still standing, so we're good. Okay, the reason I chose Oddish is because this month, uh, November, the slow month that nobody really cares about, even though there's a day that is specifically there to be thankful for things, we kind of just skim over it, uh, is this month, I decided since it is a slow month, I am going to be talking about books. So in instead of having like an AMV or a Vocaloid song, I'm actually going to be recommending a manga. Yeah, speaking of the manga, the manga that I have for today is Are no chi kareshi. Are no chi kareshi. Eee. Just saying it makes me feel cute. <laughs> anyway, so this manga is also translated to Are after boyfriend. Don't know what that means. Uh, this is a very short manga because it only has one volume and in that one volume there are five chapters. Uh, this is a more cutesy manga but don't worry guys out there who read manga. If you don't you should maybe give it a try. I will be recommending some mangas that are more down your alley. This one literally has boyfriend in the title, so don't know if you want to watch it. I don't know. Maybe you swing both ways. Or you swing all ways. That's fine, too. Okay! <laughs> did you catch that? Mm hmm I know you did. So, the phrase of the week, I is way too long, so I had to write it in English, is Anata wa yori oku o yomi kudasai which literally translates to, you please read more. But <laughs> for the sake of um, just not knowing Japanese, I translated it to, you should read more. Right there. But it literally translates to, you please read more. Just keep that in mind as we go over to Megumi and Kyota to uh, see sort of an explanation. <laughs> もっとよりも深いです。あ、ウェイ。あ、ウェイ。ぼう、ぼう。はあ。え。あ、メグミさん、わこれを見てきます。キョウちゃん。あなたはより多くを読みください。That was that was really great. Thanks. Good job. I don't know what just happened. That's fine. Okay. Now we are on to the best part of the whole like the reason that this series started. The anime of the week. And this anime is actually a movie. However, it was the, um, it was created from a book, like an actual novel, not a manga, and I think that's really kind of cool. There are quite a few animes that are taken from novels, though, like Sword Art Online and Number Six. Those are both animes that came from a novel that was adap adapt adapted into a manga and then later adapted into an anime. So, I don't know. And, okay. <laughs> 
So this anime movie is called Bungaku Shoujo Book Girl. It is about a boy who's going to this high school and he meets this girl who instead of eating regular food, she eats books. And, and depending on the story of the books that she's eating, it will determine the taste of the books. And he is like a super... I think my family's home. Oh no! And he is like a super good writer. And so she kind of forces him into the literature club, which is literally just them. They are home. Ah! And he has to write stories for her uh, to eat, basically. But there's a whole bunch of like tragic backgrounds and stuff, and a whole bunch of side stories, and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. It's not just, like, it sounded cute, right? It sounded adorable, but there's a whole bunch of like darker stuff going on. Like, he had a childhood friend who tried to kill herself. It's she tries to kill him later on, and then she tries to kill herself again, and for whatever reason, she's living, like... There's a whole bunch of stuff that happens to her, and she still lives, anyway. So, I recommend that if you do watch the movie, you watch the four OVA episodes of it, too, because those will explain background stories for, like, all of it. <laughs> After you watch the OVAs, you will understand the movie, and it's, it's great. Definitely do that. Um, it looks like that is all I have for this week. So, I will see you next time. Jane!